using Android Java APIs in Kotlin, you quickly realize that you're missing out on some of the Kotlin features that make coding so much easier and pleasant. Instead of writing your own wrappers and extension functions for these APIs, take a look at the Jetpack KTX libraries. Currently, more than 20 libraries have a KTX version, creating sweet idiomatic versions of Java APIs, ranging from Android platform APIs to view models, SQLite, and even Play Core. In this video, we'll look at some of the APIs available and peek under the hood to see how they were made. So let's get started. So first, how do you discover the KTX functionality? Well, as a best practice, always import the dash KTX artifact when available. As the dash KTX artifact depends transitively on the non-KTX version, you don't need to include the other artifact. So for example, for view model, you get two artifacts, view model and view model KTX. And the KTX artifact will actually contain the Kotlin extensions. For extensions on the Android platform APIs, import the core KTX artifact. The majority of KTX functionality is implemented as extension functions, so you'll be able uh, to easily find them by using autocomplete in Android Studio. Other functionality like the structuring and operator overloading available on classes like color can be discovered by checking out the list of KTX extensions. Core KTX provides idiomatic Kotlin functionality for APIs coming from the Android platform. So for example, if you're working with shared preferences, when you want to update the value instead of executing three different calls, you can do just one. Under the hood, the KTX edit method calls the same functionality, providing a good commit default option, apply. Because apply, unlike commit, commits the changes on disk asynchronously. In Core KTX, you'll also find an easier way of handling frequently used platform listeners. So for example, if you want to trigger an action when text was uh, changed in an edit text, you'd have to implement all the methods of the text watcher, even if you're actually only interested in on text changed. Core KTX creates the corresponding text watcher method. Do on text changed, do after text changed, and do before text changed. So in your Kotlin code, you can just use the one you need. This brings several benefits. Your code becomes easier to read as it's more concise, and you get better naming and nullability annotations. You'll find similar listener APIs for animator listener and transition listener. So under the hood, do on text changed is implemented as an extension function on text view. This is the class that also has the add text change listener method. Do on text changed creates empty implementations for the other functions of the text watcher. So this was a TLDR of the platform KTX APIs. But how about the Jetpack APIs? Well, actually, the majority of extensions available are for Jetpack APIs. So let's go over some of the ones that I actually found myself I'm using most often. So first up, live data. Live data is ideal for exposing data to be consumed by the UI, so to convert from flow to live data and from live data to flow. The lifecycle live data KTX artifact provides two handy extension functions, flow as live data and live data as flow. A lot of the live data functionality is implemented as extension functions as well, methods like map, switch map, or distinct till changed. So for example, using map from live data KTX removes the need to call transformations.map and allows us to call directly live data.map in a more Kotlin idiomatic way. When you observe a live data object, you'll have to implement an observer. But using the observe from lifecycle KTX, the code becomes simpler. Make sure you call import Android X lifecycle observe if the method isn't found. To construct a view model, you would extend the view model class and implement view model provider factory if your view model has dependencies. To instantiate it, use the view models delegate. So by view models and factory. The view models is available in the dash KTX artifact of activity and fragment. Both Room and Work Manager offer coroutine support via their KTX artifacts. 
as we think it's worth covering these a little bit more in depth, stay tuned for my skills video focused on these specific libraries. Android X artifacts are not the only ones to provide KTX versions. Firebase has created common KTX uh, extensions. Google Maps offers Maps and Places KTX libraries. And then PlayCore has the core KTX artifact, providing core team support for monitoring in-app updates. Concise, readable, and content idiomatic. These are the features that will benefit your code once you start using the KDX extensions. Stay tuned for more ways to take advantage of Kotlin and Jetpack in your app. Thanks for watching.